Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing how we budget and save to pay for different things in our lives. So I think since we started our home renovation, I have been asked like, I can't even really remember how many times I've been asked, but so many of you have been really interested to know how we have budgeted and saved for such a big expense. So I'm no money saving expert, but I definitely get a bit of a kick out of saving. And I do think I'm quite savvy when it comes to money. So let me just start off by saying I love a list. I am someone who will write lists and they will just be all around the house. I love ticking things off my list and I really like compartmentalizing things in my life. So today I wanted to share how we manage our bank accounts and what I've been using recently to make managing them a lot easier. In the past, Chris and I always had one joint bank account and all of our direct debits plus all of our monthly spending came out of that one account from the both of us and then sometimes when it came to the end of the month, we were both quite shocked at how much we had spent without realizing. So then what I did is I set up a few different accounts. We had our joint account, which all of our wages got paid into, and then I set up two more accounts, one for me, one for Chris, and we would send ourselves an allowance every month that we could kind of spend on whatever we wanted for ourselves. And then we had a fourth account that was a joint account as well. And the money in there would be to pay for our food. It would pay for our days out as a family and just kind of general things like that. That was great for a while, but it did kind of get confusing, especially when you had to remember all the different PIN numbers. So after trying to manage with our four different bank accounts for a while, I got approached by Hyperjar and they asked if I would be interested in working with them. So after me downloading their app and trying that out for a little while, I literally couldn't say yes to working with them quick enough. If you love a list like me and like compartmentalizing your life and money, then this video and Hyperjar's e-money account is definitely for you. So now we just have two accounts. We have our main account, which our wages get paid into and which takes care of all of our direct debits. And we also have our Hyperjar e-money account, which takes care of our spending and our savings, making everything so much more transparent. Hyperjar is the first ever account built entirely around you and your everyday money relationships, priorities and plans. It is a completely free app and account to have. There are no monthly fees, which I know a lot of apps do charge for. Hyperjar is an FCA regulated e-money account and prepaid debit MasterCard. It has built-in functionality to help you budget and save up for specific projects and goals or just to better manage your money too. Hyperjar works alongside your main bank account. You can set up jars on Hyperjar to help you save for different goals. But what's also really great about Hyperjar is you can set up shared jars which helps you reach those saving goals together. Hyperjar's e-money account is basically like having loads of different bank accounts but all under one umbrella. To make what I'm saying a little bit clearer I'm going to add some screen records and overlays on top of what I'm saying just so that I can show you exactly what I mean and you can see how it all works for yourself. So this is my Hyperjar account. All the money I have in here is just to show you guys. This is a reference. I'm all up for sharing, but you know, I don't want to show you everything. It's really, really easy to set yourself up with Hyperjar. All you need to do is obviously download the app first of all, fill in your details, and then your card will arrive between kind of five to 12 days after that. Once you're all set up, the first thing you need to do is to add some funds from your main account to your Hyperjar account. This money will arrive into your Hyperjar wallet, which is the blue and white jar at the top right of the screen that you can see here. When setting up your Hyperjar account, you're able to add as many different jars into your app as you would like. As you can see, I've got quite a few already, but I do keep thinking of new ones to add as well. To add a new jar, you simply press the plus sign in the little square at the bottom left, and then add the name you would like the jar to be called, and you can then add funds to it from your wallet really easily by using the add button. So how we work our Hyperjar account is every single month, we add the amount of money that we need to take us through that month into our Hyperjar wallet. As you can see by the jars that I've got in there, that is to cover our petrol, food, clothes, holiday, pocket money, dog food, 
birthday presents, Christmas presents, and of course our fun money too. Once the funds are available in my Hyperjar wallet, I am then able to distribute them out into the different jars. You can also set it up so Hyperjar distributes that out to your jars automatically. So for example, when I am working out how much money I want to put in each jar each week or month or however often I want to put it into the jar, I kind of work mine out. Say for example, I'm talking about birthday presents. I will, let me show you. I have written a list of everybody here that I need to buy birthday presents for and Christmas presents for. We have got a lot of presents that we need to buy. So we worked out that just on birthday presents, not including Chris and I, we spend about a thousand pounds a year on people's presents. And so when I divide that by 12, it works out that we have to put away 80 pounds a month to cover all of our presents so that when it comes to birthdays, we don't suddenly have like a surprise bill that we have to shell out for. So now what I do every month into our birthday jar, I will put in 80 pounds. And then when it comes to buying a birthday gift, the money for that gift will come directly out of our birthday jar budget. When I talk about the money coming out of each jar, I would probably say one of my favorite features on Hyperjar is the fact that you can directly spend from whichever jar you have set up. So for example, every week I have set up that Hyperjar will automatically top up our food jar with 150 pounds from our wallet. And then whenever we go food shopping, we can click on our jar and you can directly link it to your card. So when I go into um, any supermarket and I know that I'll be buying food, instead of me spending all my card and it coming out of the main wallet and then me having to go into the hyper jar at myself and transfer all money back to myself, like out of the food jar back into my wallet, what you can do, which I think is so very clever, is you can go into your app you can click on to your food jar and link that jar to your card. You can choose to always link this jar to your card or you can link it just for the next purchase only. This honestly is just life changing for me. It means I'm not always going into one account and moving money over to cover a food shop that I'm about to make or to cover one that I have just made. It means everything is just coming out of the jars where it has been allocated from. This not only is really convenient for your budgeting, but it also means that you can really keep track of how you are spending. I would say the main jar that we overspend on is our fun money. We're one of those families who we never like to say no. If someone asks us to go out somewhere, or if we're feeling a little bit like, oh, what should we do? We can go onto our Hyperjar app and we can see how much money we've got left in our fun money jar. If it's quite full, then maybe we'll decide to go out for a meal or we'll decide to go down to the pier and the kids can go on all the different arcades because that is very, very expensive. Or if it is running low and we think we need to rein ourselves in a little bit, we could decide to just go for a really nice family walk along the beach or find another free activity that would be just as much fun. I think it just gives you a little bit more control over your money because things are put into different sections. Like I said, they are compartmentalized into different sections. I feel it just kind of enables you to understand your finances a little bit more and also understand maybe where you are overspending or maybe where you have budgeted a little bit too much for items that you normally think you would spend that much on. Hyperjar is also perfect for parents as it offers the UK's only free pocket money and kids card app for six to 17 year olds that works in tandem with the adults app. It allows you to pay pocket money really easily whilst also teaching kids about money and personal finance too. This is how your kids cards will come. So they are a different color to yours. They have their names on the back. They have obviously all the normal details on the card as you would see on a normal MasterCard. And the nice thing about these also is you can add a little quote on there as well. So Jamie, he's my youngest, he's nine, but he definitely has no clue when it comes to money. If it was up to him, he would go and spend all his money in one go. So what we have put on the back of his card is think about it twice. <laughs> he probably would still buy it, but at least 
It's, he's gonna look at it and think, mm, do I want this? Yes, I definitely, definitely do. Another brilliant thing about having the kids card is that you can link any of the jars that you have in your account to their card too. So our kids are older and often, I mean, we've just got some shops not far from our home. So often I'll just say to them, could you just run down to the shop for me and get me some milk or go to the butchers and get me some sausages or whatever you know we need. So what I would then do is the boys can take their own card and then I can just link our food jar to their card and they can go and pay for whatever we need with their own debit card and it will come directly out of the relevant jar and then obviously i can then unlink the card quickly before they go wild i just feel like it gives them real independence and they definitely feel very very grown up going and doing that job for me another great thing about the kids cards is as soon as they turn 16 you can actually change their kids account to a full adults account and all of the history since they had their cards will remain with them but obviously as Rory and Jamie are younger we do still remain in control of their money and if they ever go to the shops and spend on their card we get an automatic notification to tell us exactly how much has been spent. This next feature with Hyperjar that I wanted to share with you is where you can pay ahead with their brand partners. So if you're in a position to allocate future spends to one of their partner brands, then your money grows by 4.8% annually. So for example, we know that we spend around 100 pounds a month on petrol. So I've linked my car jar with Hyperjar's brand partner, Shell. We have a Shell just down the road and every three months or so, we like to put about 300 pounds into our car jar. And by us paying ahead just by three months, it means that extra we put in there will grow at 4.8%. The growth in that jar is calculated daily. So then we will get a growth on the money that's in there. Imagine if you could say put in a year's worth of your Petra money into the Shell brand partner jar, and then the 4.8 annual growth that you would get on the money that you had put into there would be so much more than you would be able to get if you put it into um, a normal bank account to get savings on there instead. As you can see, Hyperjar have loads of brand partners too. If you're saving up for a holiday and you know you're going to be spending that money in Tui, then it's worth popping some money away every month into that brand partner. But like I said, they just have loads of other brand partners like Feel Unique, My Protein, Not on the High Street, and also Dyson too. If you do decide to commit that money and pop it into a brand partner jar, then you can uncommit it at any time. However, you will just lose any growth that you have on it. One last feature of Hyperjar that I wanted to share with you is the fact that you can actually make some little pop-up jars that you can share with family and friends. So my first thought about this was, say you go out on a girl's night out and you get a little kitty together, you could then be the person responsible for the kitty and you could make your own little jar and then everyone could send the money to your Hyperjar account. Then anytime it comes to buying drinks or food out, then you would be the one to pay, but it would be coming out of everyone's money. I feel like this is a really, really great feature. As someone who goes out with their girls and does have a little kitty when we're out, it just makes paying for things so much more transparent. You're not trying to work out how much you owe anybody else because all your money is just pulled together in one jar, paid for out of one jar, and then anything that's left, if there is anything left, can just be split between the girls group at the end of the night. I just think that's an absolutely great feature that Hyperjar offer and it's something I've genuinely never ever come across before. I feel like I have given you quite a lot of information about Hyperjar in this video. I really hope it has helped you. This has definitely been a brilliant way for us to start saving our money and like I said, as now we have almost finished completing our home, it's a great way for us to save up for different items that we want around the house. So I know that I want lots of nice little pictures and vibes and bits and bobs like that. So what I thought I would do is every month when I get paid, I would just take a little small section out of that once I find out the bits that I want for the house and I'll make my own little jar. And that will be where I start saving for cushions Cushions, Chris will never let me buy cushions. So if I just save squirrely on the side and then I have enough to buy some cushions, then he just can't shout at me for doing that. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about Hyperjar, then please just comment down below and I will answer them as best as possible. I'm quite new to Hyperjar myself, but I just am really, really loving what it does. Like I said, we used to have 
quite a few different bank accounts, but now this has just brought all in under one umbrella. By us using Hyperjet, it's definitely made us so much more aware of every single purchase that we make. It's made us look into our spending habits a lot more and realize where we are overspending. It's a great way to just keep on top of everything and to manage your money in a really sensible and convenient way. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, comment down below and I will answer them as best as possible. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!